Alright guys, this is Doc M and this is Cities Skyline. Yeah, the game SimCity, the latest one always wanted to be and never was. And <laughs> you know guys, um, first of all I want to give big shout outs to my buddy Keralis. He hooked me up with the key, he got in touch with Paradox Entertainment and um, yeah, he um, got a key for me so I can test the game a bit prior to release and I yesterday I got stuck playing this game for I don't know 15 hours or so <laughs> played it all day long because I loved it because it was working and it was amazing and I thought um, before it comes out we want to do a little mini let's play and depending on your support we will keep that up so hit that like if you want to see more I learned a lot about the game so I think I can give you some helpful hints and tips for a start, so um, <clears throat> I played Green Plains, Black Woods, I played Two Rivers. So let's try out a different world, and I kind of figured out a fairly decent starting strategy for me. So maybe I can replicate it. Um, let's see, there is Sandy Beach, it has all sorts of natural resources and um, outside connections. Plains, okay, it's a lot of water, lots of water, only 63% habitable, so we have different maps. Two rivers was pretty decent, but I played that already, 61, 70, yeah, you can see you have higher, we could try river run, why not, why not, I didn't try that, we have everything available and we have a lot of building space, so <coughs> let's jump into the game. And it has a lot of things uh, SimCity didn't have and first of all um, the big question was building space Please because that was the thing next to non-working traffic and all other stuff that really pissed me off when SimCity came out So here hello. Yeah, we don't need that This is the overview map and if you go to the world map um, right now We cannot un we can see this is our building zone, but everything you see pretty much on the map you can buy later on and extend your building area further, which is awesome. So we have a massive building space. Okay, let's let's check our map a bit. We got a river flowing through here, which is pretty cool. We could try to build up a hoover dam. We got um, highway access here and there. There is a train over there. Eventually, we want to have train access. So. Um, we have this nice natural barrier here by the river, it would make sense to build over here, but um, I think we will start it off here and uh, a nice um, strategy is, <coughs> sorry, a bit early in the morning, my voice is a bit raspy. Um, we want to separate our zones, we want to have residential, then we want to have some commercial in the middle, and then we want to have industry, because yeah, People need to travel back and forth, but noise pollution is a problem, so you cannot have um, like your commercial right inside your um, living quarters, which yeah, would think you make sense, you know, make it close so they can shop and work there. But you have to think a bit differently in this game. So a good thing I found out right at the get-go is um, you have limited road options right now. So just build a, a little piece of random road delete it again and that will unlock um, way more building options here and yeah, later on you get highways and stuff and big clover leaf junctions and so on um, <coughs> to start off here I'm gonna pick a six lane road and we're gonna lay out our stuff a bit let's see here is the incoming line okay so up here we're gonna have an industry zone in this area and down here we're gonna have living quarters stretching out all the way to down here and somewhere in the middle there's gonna be a commercial zone and then later on we're gonna bridge over all right sounds like a plan to me so now you have to watch your budget a bit in the beginning and yes pause so time doesn't run on so what I did in the beginning here because later on you get um, highway ramps and then you can do way better connections here but in the beginning for me it was sufficient just just to do this one one wide road here a uh, very small road, it will clock up in the beginning, but yeah, we're gonna have our industry up there. So now we need to check out water. That's very, very uh, crucial. And um, we must see in which direction the water flows, because we will have um, yeah, sewage output 
and um, also where we get our water so you don't want to put your sewage where you <laughs> where you drain your water from so here water pump that works out and another good thing to do is um, for, for your power situation you can start with a coal plant like that you have to watch your budget a bit in the beginning have the coal plant right here in the uh, in the entry very close it can be here and there will be a lot of pollution there now but um, you know the trucks um, that come in with your load and with your fuel for the um, yeah for your power plant they roll in here and yeah you give them a, a short uh, short road to drive um, that's a good thing to do you know what I mean so now um, as we now have water you can see this thing needs power a good way uh, to secure that is to weigh 6,000 um, on a wind turbine and you can see here where it's light we have a strong wind blowing here at the shoreline um, so it's a good 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 place to have it right here and yeah we put it around there and the blue zone signifies this is uh, in, in touch now it's connected and has power for the rest of the city we will use that but for now that works out fairly well now we need uh, water pipes um, well we need to watch our budget a little bit but I'd like to bring him over and down here as our main water line going all the way right to down there all right so that is done now um, basically power power situation is solved power situation here is not solved yet so um, I was always using a main road to kind of um, go up and down you can later on even use you know um, one-way roads and so on and better roads that have decoration and yeah increase the value but for now we should have a main road and we should give us some space let's go here in the middle a main road bi-directional road going up here and you can already see the blocks there marked out with the little you know um, blue boxes there that shows you how many blocks you will be able to have so let's put our main road here this will be our main yeah aorta of life down here we have our living quarters along here we will have some shops and up there we will have some industry so now um, let's lay out our first living quarters for that um, I want to use four lane roads because this later on gonna be a very highly uh, populated area our budget is 23,000 we have to watch that a bit and I'm gonna go over here a bit so we can connect roads to that little thing pointing out so here we will fit two blocks as you can see I'm always trying to to fit two blocks and we lose a block on the street there or a quarter of a block so we do this and now we're gonna space it out like that all adjacent and see here we can fit another block I'm always trying to you know make full full blocks and that's indicated by those little blue boxes okay uh, that's all right we don't want to go too close to up here because here is gonna be commercial industry so now we're gonna extend to the other side okay we can leave some space back here in case we want to slap down a road here money is that's something we really need to consider okay so this is our first uh, yeah living area and I think that's good enough now go to the zoning tool and there's different different ways of zoning you can you know like draw uh, rectangles like that or you can do a brush paint things here with a little bit of a bigger brush or you can use this tiny brush if you really want to be exact but for now we're gonna make a huge living uh, area here with a lot of people and that works out well a good um, thing to do is raise your taxes but uh, right now we cannot do that also always keep an eye on your budget when you raise the budgets you can get your city services a bit more efficient but um, yeah it's limited it's not infinite so this is connected so um, we also want to lay out a little bit of an industrial zone up there so people can work and we have this double connection here which is pretty good we're gonna stick with our four lane roads uh, you know just planning ahead a bit and let's say all right that's not too bad we fit two full blocks in here and we're also gonna bring it out here a little bit 
and we're gonna zone that industrial. We need to watch our budget. We need enough money to interfere with with uh, with some power lines in the beginning. So that's good enough for a start. And then around here, I'm gonna set up a little bit of commercial. Not too much, just a little bit, so people can go shopping when they go from work back and forth, you know what I mean? So, now, of course, we need water in our living quarters. Let's try to be efficient here and not use too many water lines. Yeah, we need to expand it to this side a little bit, so we cover all in here. That looks good. So, this thing is um, has water now, and now, last but not least, you should take some electricity. I mean, um, you can see what is blue is powered, so we're gonna take the electricity and bring it... Oh, space is occupied. Okay, we can drag it from here. We will remove this later on. Here was our commercial zone, and we're gonna bring it down to here as well. And we're also gonna bring it up to our industry zone. So, um, this is a pretty decent start, um, I would say, and... Um, yeah, let's just run our city for now and see what happens. Soon we need to introduce city services. Okay. <coughs> In the beginning it's good to speed things up. We have a little bit of money. We will lose that rather quickly now. But, yeah. You can see first people are moving in. I have speed. The speed up, um, increased right now. Uh, we, we should reposition this power line a little bit. Put it right there. Okay. Here it is not connected to anything, but you can see the power lines flashing. That means they get power. And we transfer the power over here. And now, time to stop. And we see our first problem. Um, sewage. Sewage is building up. So now it's really important that you separate your sewage uh, from your uh, freshwater intake. I mean, um, if you look at it... Um, um, can see the water flows towards this direction so we don't want to put it here because then we will suck in our poop water so we don't want that we put it downstream a bit um, thing is it will be heavy po heavily polluting and right now we pretty much don't want that close to our living quarters this is also does noise pollution but but now there's not much we can do so we can put it over here to keep the pollution a bit away um, later we have to we have to reroute that, put it somewhere else. Down here would also be an option for now, so it's pretty much out of the way. Um, so let's put it over here, the noise is not too bad. And um, let's connect it. And it also needs some power. Um, that will cost us now. Hopefully we have enough to pay for that. No. Ooh, that was a strategic mistake. I should have placed it up here. Uh, let's see if we can get a quick refund by removing these streets. Don't we? No! Uh, that's bad. But um, we, should, we should be able to live through it. As soon as you have your first achievements a certain amount of people living in your city then you will get some additional money let's now see they will all suffer from poopness it's flowing out already a little bit but it's lacking electricity so we wasted a bunch of money here and those they don't have water yet as well but we should be able to make it over the hump I'm pretty much stretched the budget to the max right now and yeah here that was a bad move okay now we have to wait it out a bit Let's see you can see we have a bunch of people living in our city we cannot raise the taxes yet but that is something you should do right away to get a lot of money in the beginning so that thing works partially it has not enough electricity but it partially works so we don't have people drowning in their own poop but we okay now it starts we need to power it really quickly so let's see how many people we have living plus still moving in Sh soon we will break our first milestone I think it's a population of 500 
and then we get a little bit of funding and unlock more stuff and then we can quickly fix that poop problem there. That was a small misplanning on my part. Here we go. But it's not bad. Four, 460 it is. And yeah, now schools and stuff um, get unlocked, a landfill for garbage. So now we should definitely pause and now we can quickly fix that issue here. Quickly get a power line down there, which will later on be removed. Okay, now our sewage system should probab probably work. It's connected to the pipe and we pump out all the filthy water down below. Also, those guys here needed water. Let's give that to them and connect that here right away. So, now we need to fix our roads we uh, deleted in our frenzy and trying to save the, the poop, f uh, save us from the poop flood. Get that back. Uh, no, okay. Yeah, now we get a refund for it. Weird. Okay, zoning. Zoning. Okay, let's paint that out. And now we're looking we're looking pretty. Now let's there should be no problems in the city anymore. Everybody is happy. And one thing we need to take care of now right away is a garbage situation. We don't have much space here because I picked this side to build, so it's a bit more challenging. But um, yeah, your garbage dump should be quite far away. In the beginning, it's quite annoying to you that you have to have them because they take a lot of space. So I'm hoping I can somehow put it away from the city a bit. And um, let's see if we can waste some money by building a bridge here. Yeah, that'll cost too much. All right, you can later on move landfills as well, so it's not that bad. We can put it right there. Okay, it's really important that you pick up your garbage and you don't get your people sick. Right now we're already in the plus, we're making money. And um, now you can also change your taxes. And in the beginning I just raised it by 1%. Because in the beginning it's really nice if you have a fairly a fairly decent cash flow right away. So, we need to think ahead a bit. We try to expand our living quarters to down here. So when we think about healthcare, schools and stuff, we should pre-plan a bit and have a nice little educational sector right here in the middle of our city somewhere. But right now we're not having enough money. We need to get more people to move in. So let's speed up everything here and collect some more cash and see how it develops. The industry here is also developing nicely. Here we have not, not much demand. <coughs> this commercial area might be a bit small, but our idea is kind of working. People are walking or riding with their cars from our living areas over to the jobs and also, you know, do their shopping on their way back and forth. Also some goods produced down here are delivered into the commercial zones. And it's working nicely, you can also see here the people are uh, parking their cars so we don't have any public transport yet. And we definitely need that because those roads will be really busy later down the road. And yeah, um, these power lines as you can see here electricity is um, spreading if you connect these later on with houses we all we don't need these power lines here at all um, also we're having enough electricity here you have your info maps now education is not present we're picking up our garbage that works well you can see the wind you know and it's not super strong here where i placed it but fairly decent so here would be a good area you have strong wind but yeah it's enough, you know, it's good enough there. Noise, um, those commercial zones are always very loud, of course, um, industrial zones like that as well. And here we see a bit of noise pollution from the sewage plant and traffic causes noise pollution as well. That's something you need to consider. You can counter that with trees. Traffic should be high here and there, yeah. Um, you know, back com lorries coming back and forth from the highway going into our industrial zone. Yeah, leisure. We don't have no leisure activities yet. Nothing that makes our brings our prices up. And yeah, here you can see the pollution. 
and uh, let's see wait Oop, ah we are worthy village we unlocked more money now we can introduce districts <coughs> that is really important have unique buildings we can speci specialize ourselves and we can have certain policies we have a firehouse and a police station and so on and we got a bit more money so first things first you know if you have dumb people um, they're more likely to start fires and uh, just in general are being obnoxious so we need to take care of that and I also want to extend our living quarters down here so I was thinking we need to yeah our main road needs to be extended but now we should go a bit like this so we get get more space I think that should be good enough just want to put some money into that and now on the main road um, oh yeah we can we could do some some more zoning here like this the zoning you do with right clicking let's do it like this and now um, we can introduce our first services so health health is important obviously not so much back there over at the, at the industry zone so I want to put it here let's see yeah we're planning ahead here already a bit put it somewhat in the middle right there people are happy about that and we should also take care of education put a high school down we need to make sure you see how the road gets more green and green we need to make sure we reach everything so the high school can go right there it's also good so we push some traffic down here we don't want to put it here because there is going to be commercial industry we want to have the education down below we also saw our power line here broke off which is a bad thing that needs some fixing and here's a ridge I didn't even really fully realize there was this ridge ah it came from our road alright so um, yeah the power line here needs some fixing we just need to bring it over here and then connect it for now okay because we don't want to lose power on our sewage plant okay we introduced our first city services and zoning uh, here zoning this is really important that will help you later on to yeah, manage your city and give certain policies to individual uh, districts which is really cool you know you can encourage a certain developments you can give tax reliefs and so on so you can just paint that like that with right click you correct it again if you want to be super accurate with it and it automatically gives it a name you can also rename that if you want so this is Ivy Hills now our first district a living district which will probably then be extended to down here and now um, you can actually assign policies we could say here distribute smoke detectors uh, so yeah people feel a bit more safe later on you get more options to do there um, our industry district we could also start to mark out so up here it's gonna be our industry and we'll give it a certain policy later as well summit district okay and around here we will have our you can also pre-plan a bit with that you know by painting out districts pre-plan your city a bit and think okay here I'm gonna do this and that so here this is gonna be commercial zone and probably will later on even reach out to up to down here and all the way over to the lake so you can already pre-plan a bit let's do this so here we're gonna have commercial up there industry and down here living quarters so yeah that's really a cool feature I love that and yeah here you can for example say if you have um, here is fertile land over there so when later we would buy that and then have industry here and we can give them a specialization we could say here be farming industry and then farming or wood logging or oil or whatever uh, resource there is would settle down there and try to get these resources which is pretty cool so yeah um, let's speed up time again we have three thousand bucks still left um, important is uh, to have a cemetery at some point um, we have oh yeah water we're lacking water there we're lacking water so let's bring a straight line up to here and here our 
electric connection is not there. That needs fixing too. Um, let's break that and replace the power line. Okay, now. They should have... Oh, come on. Really? <laughs> okay, let's give them some power. Okay. Healthcare. Got that here. Fire department. For the fire department, um, that can cost 12,000. We need to make that money first. Um, I want to put that here. So we would cover both sides, you know. Because we are starting to have small little fires up here, which is not good. Yeah, this building burnt down. If you have rubble like that, you should remove it. Alright. So right now we are losing a bit of money. That definitely means we need to have more people. More stuff that can be taxed. Let's see. We should uh, reach a break-even point soon. We have thousand people living in our city right now. It's pretty cool. Cannot do much. We don't have much money or anything but we have a stable city that is slowly but surely growing but we definitely need to give the people more living space here the demand for living space is high so yeah we need more money to build roads so we are caught a little bit but now it's a good uh, opportunity to take a loan don't take the biggest loan right away but um, it's really good in the beginning to help you out to get going because now with this investment we can build a lot more living space here and earn quickly a lot more money so we're gonna stick with our pattern here but we're gonna angle it a little bit I guess so we don't interfere Let's see yeah that works out okay <coughs> we don't want to have a bridge there also and we need to space it out accordingly like this okay that works out yeah we don't have so much space to build living areas here but hey it's a challenge that's nice see bring it over one just like that good as the money situation still very good and here we're gonna continue like that that is three blocks. It's another three blocks. Here. Uh, we probably must relocate the school there a bit, but we could also introduce another crossing. Yeah, you can always relocate buildings. You know, you can just push it over here, for example. That works out too. That did cost us though. It costs money to relocate things, but it is not that bad. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, do it like that. Okay. There's pretty decent living space here. And as soon as this is occupied, we can remove this power line. So now, we're gonna paint more living space here. We have a bit of money left. Whoop. Here we don't want to. Let's keep it nice and tidy. More living space. Paint that all. It's good. Water situation. Um, it'd be good to bring a line up like this. Good for now. The rest is covered. Okay. It doesn't have to be closed circuits. But I always tend to do it. Kind of more realistic, I would say. Okay, so, um, our district, we need to extend our district to down here. It's gonna be a big, big district. And right now the land value in there is also pretty low. So we can think about that and uh, see if there's decorated stuff available already. No, we need a population of 1,500. And now, um, yeah, we covered the demand for um, um, living space, but we also should increase our um, yeah Spruce Hills um, economical district a bit so yeah let's just do this let's say we bring it down 
here that will cause us to make a bridge like that. We don't want that yet. Okay, Spruce Hills. And then <coughs> we're gonna unzone that stuff here. And we're gonna rezone it here. Just bring it over here a little bit. Unzone. Zoom in if you're unsure. Yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna set down another street. We still have some cash we should work with if we took the loan, you know what I mean. And put the next one right next to it. And here we can go one longer without building a weird bridge, which is good. And we should zone this right away. It's gonna be a commercial area. Later on this can be offices as well. And um, high density. Ah, actually we could leave that. We could leave that. It works out. Let's look at the water situation here as well. We need to bring some water down. All right, good enough. Ena we have enough water, we have enough electricity available. Okay, that was a huge push in the city now. Let's see how that all develops. Okay, the demand for commercial goes down a bit. People are moving in. Yeah, here we have crossroads. Crossroads always bad for traffic. And um, let's see. Medical, we are taken care of. Education, we are taken care of. But we definitely need a fire department and police very soon. Um, our crime rate will raise. But um, we will make it to our next milestone with that. And we will also make way more money now. Which is a good thing. And soon, yeah, we can use the money we will get for the 1500 people milestone to, yes, use for the police department and a fire department. So that is taken care of. Okay. Right now there's, cannot really see our pollution there, let me, <laughs> the river is flowing so fast it gets diverged or what, oh we're not just, we're just not pooping enough. Crime! People are not happy about the crime, but um, it'll all play out, we will soon be able to intervene. Come on, 1500 people we need, give us some more cash and also you see um, we're making good tax revenue now income from our city here we go we can now get high schools level two unique buildings and um, can set up more policies for our um, yeah, districts all right got more money and that now needs to be invested in a fire department oh let's let's do the police department first they are both 12,000 I think yeah each and the money just plays out as you see all right um, that's the police department. We also want to make sure we have a bit of security in our commercial districts there. So let's put it in between here. Same goes. <coughs> um, wait, that is the police. Yeah, now we need the fire department. And we also got to put it here. All right. That's pretty good. Let's look at the. You can always see when you know when you go, for example, here. You can see the info about the healthcare here. You can see the info about fire safety. You can see the info about crime, and so on. Now that should change um, as we have police now patrolling, and people should no longer be complaining about the crime. <laughs> see, everybody's like me, me. We're getting robbed here. I'm ready to say, yeah, the police will take care of that. If higher education and better police watch, things will change. So let's speed up the time and you will see this crime is disappearing slowly but surely. Wonderful. So now we also have decorative things we can use to increase the land value and we should definitely do that. Um, 
those are the good things, the plaza here, you know that um, take way less space than the other things and are also cheaper but this has a huge radius and it will raise the value of the land around here. So we have to have it somewhere at a road and preferably here we will lose some housing spots but that's okay. Um, we will gain, oh the space is occupied, we can't even fit that in here. Yeah, we want to have that one, 15,000, that's pretty good. Um, a small playground, let's see, ah yeah, that would fit. Okay, yeah, here's a nice spot. Let's put that small playground here. Everybody happy, raises the land value a little bit. Okay, let's speed up time a bit. We should be rolling now. Okay. Buildings are leveling up. Because we raised the land value a bit. You can see. Low. You know, and here it, bluish is good. Bluish is good. Okay, people are moving, moving in. Let's look at our demand. They want industry and offices. We don't have really educated people now, as we don't we only have elementary school um, and no high school or university or so. So right now most people want to work in industry, but that is all right. Um, we can easily provide them with more jobs up there. Later, you definitely need offices because you will have educated people that want to work office jobs, and that's basically the same thing that industry. Then in this thing will say medium demand for industry or offices always keep that in mind so spamming you know industry over and over is not the uh, the solution to all problems the landfill here is only seven seven percent full that is good and we have a bunch of garbage trucks working for them you can see the traffic slowly but surely is increasing um, but we have no problems uh, for the delivery trucks bringing the coal here in our coal power plant because that's bad. If you have energy loss for a long time, that's really bad. Um, you will have a lot of problems here. There are our city services in action. Firefighters coming in. And we can also look at a bit of the details here. Very nice view. The river flowing by. People are moving in. Let's fly above here a bit. Different cars. Well done, well done. The roundabouts here. Yeah, so nice suburbial area pretty much forming up here and yeah right now the demand for industry is rising so we should give them some more jobs we collected a bunch of money now as yeah people are moving in and I'm gonna stick with my pattern back here Wait, one block yep and we're just gonna keep on extending here it's good enough don't go crazy you know especially with industry later um, we'll probably have a hard time finding enough workers because you have a lot of educated people around all right so let's say we're gonna zone that for them now give them some more industry and quickly it springs up and gets populated and the demand is dropping down a bit we always have a bit of a demand for shopping but that can also easily be extended but I feel that is pretty good shopping area right now for our people traveling back and forth from work all right yep we are making money and things are getting upgraded here bigger and better houses mm -hmm. yeah, and they are willing to level up you can see detailed information here About education the children living there and so on it's really interesting you can really go micromanagement in this one too I like to macro manage more, you know, look at the big picture. That's how I like to play these uh, city simulation games. Um, yeah, really one of my most favorite things to do. So, um, yeah, we want more residents, it says. Okay, 
I say we expand our our situation here a little bit further um, again with those roads and let's try to be fairly space efficient that goes here it looks like a fish we should rename it uh, we should rename this district to the fish bone <laughs> okay gonna have less and less space back here yeah, that we don't want okay so we don't go for full blocks okay that works out let's try to maximize living space back here this <laughs> Okay, this, ah no, that was a bit dumb here. Okay, and um, yeah, let's see if we, if we do it one more time here maybe. And it doesn't really gain much, so I guess we leave it back here like that. And, um, oh yeah, we can also remove this power line here, by the way. This can go, this, this can go. That should work out, bring up our zoning tool. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Everything is occupied properly. And let's keep on zoning here. Burr, 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 burr. All the way to down here for now more people more people and they want more jobs okay good stuff the water situation almost perfect let's cover it here yeah those tiny bits and pieces back here will cause us, us trouble if we don't water them here we go okay now let's look at healthcare good coverage Firefighters, yeah, they can make it. Police can make it. School, also well covered here. Pretty good. Pretty good start. And now we have extremely high demand. They want more jobs. Okay, so let's give that to them. Zone. Zone more areas for them. Back here. Where they can find a job. Here we go. Okay, see if that helps, helps with the demand. We should bring the education up of our people. For that we need a high school, that will cost 24,000. We need to save that up a bit, but we are also re really close to our next threshold. Oh, and we have a sewage problem. Aha, uh -huh, yep, not enough sewage treatment because of lack of power. Yep, we should counter that, and I prefer this method, just give that thing its own power source, and that should be cool. Yep, now it's time to raise our budget a bit, electricity budget, bring that up, and that should hopefully yeah, bring us over the edge. That all works fine still. What's happening with the water? Whoa! Whoa! What was happening there? <laughs> That's crazy. We can remove this power line now. No longer needed. See that dent in the water? Now we also see a bit of pollution flowing out there. That was crazy. Okay. Zoning. Make sure we got everything. Just like that. Ok, 
Okay. Oh! 45 minutes! Yeah, that's the alarm, my friends. 45 minutes. So that's what we did. We have a running city. We're making a thousand bucks plus. Yeah, yeah, I get it. The time is over. <laughs> and yeah, this is where we stop for now. Oh, let me quickly remove that power line here. Remove the power line for me. And zone that. Yeah, that needs to be zoned. Let's zone all that. Come on. Yeah. Looks good. Looks good. Or does it? Uh, ah, we need to stop now. Well, the point of it, of it is, guys, do you want me to uh, continue this let's play? Do you want to see more? Um, you have to show it with likes. Hit that like. Um, show support on the show, and I will continue it. And there's lots of things to do. We can, you know, it just started. But this is how you can get a solid start and uh, make a lot of money in the beginning and you know kind of use the loans and things you have oh talking about loan um, let's get rid of that so we can react if we need to so yeah guys um, that's it as mentioned show some love I'm out for today I'm gonna save this world if you guys um, want me to continue I will I will call it Dogtown <laughs> Dogtown for now and yeah eventually see you next time. I'm out Bye guys <laughs>